Hey fellow tennis nerds, today I want to talk a bit about VT Advantic strips and grips and uh, I've been reviewing them for quite a while now. It looks like this, the brand, supposed to create products to um, improve uh, the feeling and the vibration dampening of the rackets using rubber strips or grips with kind of a rubber coating inside it. So this kind of rubber material is supposed to really eliminate harsh vibrations from the frames and give you a cleaner feel. It will also improve your stability because it works a little bit like lead tape and that would be the main thing I would say. Um, the strips come in a box like this. You get, uh, I would say four strips and they're around 30 bucks. So it's more expensive than lead tape. Does it work or not is the question. Uh, I've tried it in a multitude of rackets, many, many rackets. And I do like a few things about the strips. The grips I really enjoy because they're a bit like leather grips. Uh, so like this, you can really feel the bevels. But to me, they feel quite comfortable. I know some guys have said that they're, they're not as comfortable uh, as their, their synthetic grips. But if so, if you like synthetic, maybe this is not for you. But I really personally like the VT Advantage grip. I don't know if this actually works to save my arm or help vibrations. I cannot uh, say that based on my play with these um, uh, products. It's been, been tough. I would like to see some, some clear data and scientific evidence that it actually works. I do like the strips a lot. The reason being that I can move them around rackets when I'm testing and use them as lead tape and the, the glue is really good, so it sticks easily. I have been using them on several racks, the same strips, uh, so I'm not like stuck, because if you remove uh, lead tape like I have up here, if I remove that, I'm not gonna be able to use it again. It's, it's gonna be, be pretty much dead. The glue is gonna be gone, and it's gonna fall off, it's, fall off at some point. With the VT Advantage strips, I don't have that problem. Whether they really dampen the impact or not, I mean, obviously, if you add weight to a frame, uh, you will improve the comfort level and you will uh, reduce some vibration. This is science based on the uh, tennis uh, science books I have. So adding weight is a good thing uh, if you can handle the weight and the swing weight that is uh, increased when you add weight. Whether or not you're gonna eliminate more vibrations with the VT Advantage strips over the lead tape, I cannot say 100%. Uh, I do like using them and I did think that it seemed to create a little bit of a more solid feel with, with the Ultra especially, that has quite a high stiffness and I, I, when I added them. I'm not sure whether, you know, the lead tape, if I just added lead tape instead, if that would have been the same, or if over the long run I, I get a clear improvement in arm health with, with VT Advantage strips. I, it's, it's very difficult for me to tell, I, I switch rackets all the time and I can't really give you a clear answer to that, so that, for that I'm sorry, I wouldn't need some kind of lab. I don't directly feel an improvement in arm comfort just based on these strips or grips. I just like that they feel like quality products and I do like the grips personally. And I also like the strips because you can move them about and I've used them in, in several different rackets as I said. Ultra, soft drives, this Dunlop 300 Aerogel, and many many frames. I've used them in the Head Pro Tour 2.0, so both in flexible and stiff frames. So definitely worth a try. If you don't want to mess around with lead tape, I think these strips work really well. Uh, price point bite is a bit higher, of course, but if they do reduce vibration and you, you will get a, a better comfort for playing with these uh, strips, then it's great. Uh, I also like the grips. It's a bit like a leather grip, as I said, uh, but are supposed to be a bit more arm friendly. And that might actually be true in a way because I think if I compare a leather grip uh, I compared the Wilson leather and this one, for example, the, the VT Advantic. Uh, I did sense a little bit more discomfort in the hand on stiffer frames with the leather grip. So perhaps the grips, I, I've, I've been able to sense maybe more of a difference uh, than with the strips compared to lead tape. Strips versus no strips definitely makes a difference. You add weight, creates a more stable response. I'm a big fan of customizing. I think a lot of People should really understand basic customization and be able to do it themselves. I think that will help your game a little bit. You rarely get two frames matched, uh, so being able to match your rackets and get them in line with each other so that when you pick up the other racket you're going to have a very similar response is, is important. I think that really makes a big difference. So I definitely think you should get into customization and then the VT Advantage products could be a good way to start. 
Uh, I use lead tape myself as well as these products and, and in this case I use both which is a bit funny. So here are the strips and um, uh, I added four strips because I wanted to bump up the swing weight. So if you add weight up here you get the highest increase in swing weight. If you add weight here you get increase in swing weight but a more torsional stability so called twist weight so the racket is not as prone to twist. And if you add weight uh, in the handle, you get a more headlight feel, but no increase in twist in swing weight. You can also add weight here if you want, and then you will just increase the static weight and not increase um, the, the twist weight or swing weight too much. So this is the best way to, to remain, keep balance intact and still get some more weight. Uh, so make the racket a bit more stable, but with the same swing weight and balance or a similar swing weight, but the same balance. Um, so anything above here really adds swing weight, but more and more and more as you get further up on the racket. Um, and I re really like the strips, I could remove them now and put them on another racket. It's been working fine so far for a couple of different rackets, so I can't do that with lead tape. So this thing is, is, is uh, definitely something I like. I like these products and I'm not sure whether they do what they, they tell you to. And that might be that might be something that we need to prove or I will want to hear from other players. So. Don't take my word for for uh, granted here. I, I don't really know what to tell you there. Uh, but from, from what they do on a practical point of view, for my game, who like to customize, uh, I think it works works well. And um, I do really like the grips. Uh, and perhaps grips and strips together, I tried that as well. Will reduce vibration in the long run. I just cannot tell you, because I don't sense a significant difference in feel compared to just using lead tape. Uh, so that's all I can say about the VT Advantic products for now. Um, good product, interesting product. I like that they try to come up with this. Um, whether it really 100% works the way they intend to, to reduce vibration and eliminate harsh vibration and create a cleaner feel, I can't really say. I do like adding weight to rackets already, and I, I usually add lead tape at 3 and 9 or 12 uh, to get the swing weight up a bit and match rackets and so on. So I do recommend you do that. But if you don't want to mess around with lead, because it, you can get it on your fingers and it's not so good to, uh, to work around with lead tape too much, um, then these strips uh, or tungsten strips uh, can be a good choice. So um, that's all I can say for now about the VT Advanced products. Good idea, do like them, not 100% sure about the scientific benefits, uh, so I would like to see more evidence. And uh, if they do work, I think you're going to see more players using these products from now on. So I would like to see a direct comparison of versus adding weight or not adding weight uh, and, and lead tape versus VT Advantage strips. I think that would be great because I can't personally sense it 100%. Okay, now I've been repeating myself too much. Fun products, did like them, but not sure about the validity of the claim in the marketing. So that you have to judge for yourself perhaps. Uh, it might be a placebo effect for some, it might not be. It's, it, I can't really say and I want to be always 100% honest in all my reviews, uh, as you know. That's it for now. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.